have created Mario 2.0 Let's Play in Code.org. This is my code. I have set background image to available in Scene tab. And simply draw a background available in editor. And then I have set a sprite available in set my sprite to this character available in gallery. And renamed it to Mario like this and then I've set a tile map available in scene and drawn a large tile map we can zoom it and unzoom it I've changed it the width of it to 255 to extend the length of the map. Then I've made Mario move with the keys available on the keyboard in controller. And there is a plus button like that. If we plus, we have this. Simply I did that. Then I set Mario's position available in sprite sprites like this and simply clicked on it and did it so that Mario comes this here and I set Mario's life to 5 available in info and changed it to 5 and then I made camera follow sprite available in scene then I have set Mario's AY acceleration Y to 250 available in sprites so that Mario falls so that to create gravity as you can see Mario falls then I added the monster in for element available in loops then in tile map you can see that I have created some blocks like these You might have wondering why I created them to place the monsters and the mushrooms on the top of them. I've selected four element available in loops and then changed it to array of all locations available in scene. And changed it to red red block that we have placed on the tile map and then I've set mushroom available in sprites and drawn a mushroom and I renamed the kind of it to points and I've placed the mushroom on type of value available in scene And simply changed it to value by dragging it down like this. And then I've set value available in scene. And leave it blank. Then I've created a monster. I've took four element available in loops. Then I did the same and I did the same and put pink and then 
I did the same to all of these and then draw a sprite monster like this and rename the kind monster and then to make and then to destroy I've created four element available in loops and change it to array of all array of sprites of kind available in sprites and change it to monster and I put destroy value available in sprites and changed my sprite to value by dragging it down by dragging the value down and then I did the same with the points then to make Mario jump I took on a button pressed available in controller and then if in logic and then I took 0 is equal to 0 from logic and then took Mario VY velocity Y from sprites and then changed it to vy velocity y is equal to 0 then I have took set mario vy velocity y to minus 150 available in sprites and then changed it to vy velocity y and minus 150 because if we put a number line vertically the negative is on the top and the positive is on the bottom so that's why it would be minus 50 then to make mad to change manual score by one when it click when it touches the mushroom i took on Sprite of kind player overlaps other sprite of kind points in sprites and then change it to points because I renamed the mushroom kind to points and then I put change score by one in, in available in info tab. And then I took destroy sprite because it will disappear because it will disappear when I'm at that. Available in destroy. Available in sprites. And I rename. And I change it to other sprite by simply dragging other sprite available on the top of it to here. And then I played a music to have a music like this when I touch it. Available in music, play sound, parabi, baradin, baradin. And then to, and then and then to be lose one life if I touch the monster I have select on sprite of kind player overlaps other of kind monster available in sprites and then change the player kind to monster as I change the kind of 
monster to monster and then I destroy other sprite. And if and destroy the sprite, I will level in sprites. And simply drag down it and placed it here. And then I took if else available in logic. And then replace true by zero less than zero available in logic and then change zero by Mario Y available in sprites and change it to Y and then I took less other, than other sprite from here dragged it down here and then I changed it to Y. Simply we can control C control V and we get the same as it if I did like that. Then change score by 5. If I kill that it would change score by 5. As you can see if I am on the top of the, the, the sprite it will be killed and I have I increased 5 score available in info tab change score by and then I change it to 5 and then play sound zapped available in music and then I changed it to zapped and then I took change life by minus 1 available in info tab And play sound pew pew available in music and change it to pew pew then when I then when I fell down or lose my lives lose my all lives it plays game over so do that I've took on sprite of kind layer overlaps at location available in scene and changed it to the block that I've put for the game over in the tile map as you can see. Then I've took game over with dissolve effect available in game and then I click the plus button and to dissolve. Then if I win it will show win you win. So for that I did the same by simply Copy pasting it and changing it to win and pressing the plus button and selecting confetti. So, so let me show you how the when I click mo kill monster I get five points and when I touch the monster rather than killing it I lose one life it works because if I am on the monster means I'm if the monster is greater than me means I am on the top of the monster I get five life I get five scope and it will play zap else I will lose one one life and the, it will play pew pew so let's see if it works or not Oh. 
I'll meet you in the next video and I'll give you the link in the description so that you also can play it and please make sure to like share and please subscribe to our channel for more interesting and fun videos bye